I would like to ask you some questions about the similarities between Mussolini and Goethe. Most welcome. What are some of the basic similarities between Mussolini's fascist ideology and Goethe's Hindu ideology? If you read the Goethe's Hindu uh, ideology mentioned in his book The Bunch of Thoughts, you will come to the conclusion that Mussolini is the guru, the teacher of Goethe. The fascist ideology of Mussolini as well as the fascist ideology of Goalkar have many similarities, like suppressing the, their own citizens, having enmity with their own countrymen, fighting with their own countrymen, destroying with their own country's wealth by uh, siding with the foreign forces, having uh, agenda to control media, government offices, and army and everything. No civil rule at all. Attacking the opponents and trying to outrage the well modesty of the women of the opponents. Likewise, you find many such similarities between Mussolini as well as Govalkar. I say that RSS have a strong Italian connection. RSS have a strong Italian connection and Mussolini is one of the forefathers of RSS, according to me. How did Mussolini and Govalkar view minorities? Their attitude towards the minorities, especially for Mussolini and Hitler, for the Jews and for Govalkar, for the Muslims, is, I can say that, one of the worst, one of the worst, completely terrorist-like, completely fanatic-like and completely satanic. They want to destroy the minorities of their nations at any cost. They want to destroy the uh, lives of even women and children also of the minorities. And they recommend rapes, murders of minority women. Because of that, we find that in all the riots happening in India by RSS, right uh, from uh, post-independent India, the partition, then you find Hyderabad riots, then Bhagalpur, then Muzaffarnagar, Gujarat, then Manipur. You find how the women were especially attacked by the RSS fanatic terrorists. So Masuluni had this idea. So do Hitler and even the Govalkar. So Govalkar, Savarkar are, I, I can say that, the ideological children of Mussolini as well as of that of Hitler. To what extent did Mussolini and Govalkar go to promote the supremacy of the respective groups? They can go to any extent. They can violate human rights of every citizen. They can destroy their own nation. They can disintegrate their own nation. They can conspire against the good people of their own nation. They can commit riots, death, destruction, killings. They can align with the foreign forces as Govalkar aligned with the Britishers. And his famous quote was, O Hindus, do not waste your money and energy fighting the Britishers. Rather fight Muslims first and support the Britishers. That was his statement. When millions of Hindus have died in Bengal, Govalkar said that to pacify the Hindus, don't get agitated, give little sacrifice, but be with the Britishers against the nation, against the Muslims. So they can go to any extent. I can say Masulini, Govalkar, Savarkar can become a pure anti-national Ghabdar against their own country, against their own countrymen for the sake of their fanatic terrorist ideology that is Hindutva in India and the fascist ideology of Italy, of Masulini as well as of that Hitler, the Nazi ideology. Did Mussolini and Govalkar use propaganda and hate to spread their ideology? Yes, that is one of the main core uh, weapon they have used against their opponents, against the men, women and children. They control the media completely as it is being controlled today by the RSS fanatics, the BJP fanatics. And they recommend that, the Mussolini have done that, controlling the whole media, Hitler have done, done that. And the propaganda minister of Hitler, as we all know that, was one of the worst kind of person who spread hate against Jews. That is what happening by the Godi media today, by the RSS fanatics, as well as uh, the Govalkar have recommended the same and Savarkar recommend the same. The usage of the media to fulfill their terrorist ideology against their own countrymen and starting riots, death, killing, genocides, rapes, murders, and at the end, if required, disintegration as it happens in the form of partition of India. What are the consequences we had to face because of the actions of Mussolini and Govalkar and how can we prevent them? History is witness that whenever this ideology spreads, whenever this ideology 
comes into the minds of the common people, whenever this ideology comes into power, then wars took place, genocides took place. Millions of people have died. Millions of men, women and children were left homeless. Mass suicides, mass rapes, mass unemployment, mass and poverty, hunger and whatnot. The things we are witnessing today in India, unemployment, poverty, hunger, malnourishment, deaths, uh, uh, and uh, suicides, uh, rapes, and murders, that is one of the side effects and consequence of the Hindutva ideology of Govalkar, RSS, BJP, Namodi, and Yogi, and Anisha, and their guru, the fascist Mussolini, and Hitler. So I can say that whenever this ideology came, it brought nothing but destruction for their own people also, for the people of Mussolini, for the people of Hitler, that is Italy, the people of Italy and Germany, for the people of India. Earlier also it has brought lot of destruction. The partition took place and millions of people have died. Millions got displaced, millions become refugees, millions lost their livelihood. Then it took years and years for India and Pakistan to revive and still they are struggling with it, I can say. A billion Indians are hungry today. 800 million Indians are being given free 5 kg uh, food grains by the government. 400 million are unemployed. 40 million graduates are unemployed in India. Why? The consequences of Hindu ideology on the masses was always worse. If at all a billion Indians get destroyed, okay, unemployment happens, economy get destroyed, industrialization get destroyed, educational setup get destroyed. Whatever happens, okay, but make sure that minorities get killed. That was the ideology of Gumbalkar Savarkar. That is being implemented today by Modi, Yogi, Amisha, BJP, RSS through their worst tyrannical policies as well as Pugogi. Because of that, I recommend in every talk, read your scriptures, Vedas, Gita, Upanishad, Manusmiti, Bible, uh, Guru Granth, as well as Alhamdulillah, the Quran and the Authentic Hadith. It recommends oneness of God Almighty. Worship Allah alone. Obey final messenger Muhammad last one. Don't worship the creations. Worship only creator, cherisher Allah. Unite in the name of God. Don't fight in the name of God. And moreover, it also recommends that don't uh, spread hate. Don't spread lies. Don't spread falsehood. Don't kill the innocents. Don't attack the innocents. Don't rape the woman. Don't attack the modesty of the woman. And uh, become compassionate. And have give charity help each other, have mercy on the people of earth, Allah will have mercy on you, saving one innocent of any religion as is saving the whole humanity. Establish justice, punish the rapists and murderers with death penalty, protect your own citizens, that's what Islam says. So these are the teachings of Islam they try to propagate, to fight the Hindu ideology, which is based on terrorism, fascism, extremism, and run by the fanatics, and most of the times produce people like Nathuram Gorse, who killed Mahatma Gandhi. So, Nathuram would say a fanatic was of RSS, a student of Gawalkar and Savarkar. And he killed Mahatma Gandhi. The first terrorist of modern India, Nathuram Gorsi. So, I can say that they, this particular ideology is nothing but a cancer for Indian society, the Hindu ideology. And it is brought by Gawalkar and Savarkar from their gurus, Mussolini and Hitler. It is going to be a doom for Bharat. And it is nothing but a a disaster may protect my Bharat, may protect Bharat and Bharat.